My name is Max. This is Entrepreneur. Uh, episode, I think, 56 or something. We've been doing this for a while. It's doing. I'm really excited about it. Uh, LinkedIn is now finally working. Sorry about that. And then uh, today, we are building apps and showing you how to build actual apps uh, with you know your own URL that you can pop onto your phone. You can actually like download to the Apple Store. There's a bunch of really, really crazy things about it, and I didn't think it was all that possible. I thought you had to, to program things from scratch and all of that jazz, but turns out you really don't. Um, you can just program apps from from your computer without knowing any code, all no code. You just have to learn a basic little interface. It's super flexible, super visual. It's awesome. Um, and we're going to be going over three different tools. We're going to be going over something called Glide, which is super simple, super basic, but you can spin up things really, really quickly. Um, and it's useful for a couple of different really interesting scenarios. Two, we're going to be using Adalo. Um, Adalo is a much more visual programmer, so you actually like see the... Uh, like the screens that you're using and you see them all in front of you and you see the flow really nicely so it's much better for design um, and then we're going to be using bubble which has a much more advanced functionality and it kind of reminds me of webflow for for websites actually um, but it's specifically for apps and you can there's a ton of advanced functionality you can plug into bubble and there's a ton of api calls that you can pull from a bunch of different things but we're not going to be going too advanced we're just going to be trying to actually build um, an app in front of you and discussing how you can build apps in other programs as well uh, but we're going to be building a, a crazy little app in, a, in Glide. It'll be hilarious. And we're probably going to do that. And I'm going to go over some app stuff generally first. But then we're actually going to go and try to build an app. And I'm going to set myself a timer because uh, I, I said I could do it in five minutes. And Toast challenged me to do it in five minutes. And so I'm going to see if I can do it in actually five minutes. It should be a lot of fun. So <laughs> that's the whole jazz. We're building apps today. It should be a whole ton of fun. I'm super pumped about it. But we should literally be able to build an app in under five minutes. So it should be cool. Should be really cool. And you'll be able to download it. You'll actually be able to go and download the app and, and put it on your phone. Glide is specifically for creating apps from a Google Sheet in five minutes. I was actually able to put the app on my phone from Glide, right? And it's interesting how that kind of functions, but they don't... Uh, here, I'm going to show you actually an example of Glide, uh, a little test thing that I did with Glide before we actually go and build it. Yeah. There we go. So this is an example, right? It actually functions. I can scroll through. It's all awesome. I have a chat here uh, for, for, for chatting with people. And these are all like, uh, these are all golf scores that I actually just pulled from a website randomly and put it, it put into here. So you, now can, you can now check out the live feeds of all this different stuff. I didn't customize it all too much, um, but all these different scores for, for, for people. Uh, for, for, I think, current golf competitions. It's pretty cool. You can scan with your camera to install it, and you can chat on the thing, and you can change the little logo, and it's super cute and adorable and wonderful. Um, but I built all of this from a Google Sheet. <laughs> Nothing else. It's super crazy. And so I have another Google Sheet here of all of my previous live streams with full replays and some highlights. Um, and we're going to see if we can actually like make this into an app. In five minutes, a little bit later though, once I go over how apps work. The main difference between an app and a website, right? Because like, look at my website. Let's look at my website. My website has an email sign up. It has like different things that function differently if you click them, right? It has like, like, like different kind of little iterations. It has different sections. It has different pages. It has a live stream where there's like a list of all my content, right? It has all these different like elements to it. And it all functions and they all function in different ways and they all can function together and they're all cohesive, right? And there's little links and when you, when you hover over them, they, they change and you can embed videos and all this stuff, right? All this stuff that's typical of websites. And as I was experimenting with app builders like Adalo and Bubble, um, as you can kind of see here, this is one of the things that Bubble kind of uh, pushes. This is their example app um, that they kind of push, right? Um, yes, 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 close the assistant. This is the example app, right? It is essentially just it looks like a website right so what's the difference what's the huge difference between this and a, a website right from what i've been able to tell the what the difference between an app and a website is the like the importance of like logging in right so you log in and the the information changes and i could have a login i could set up a quick little login on on, on a webflow site tying it to like a payment site and i could actually have a login and have it like work with passwords and everything like that right Great, um, but I think the, the, the big piece of, of apps is that the elements change depending on what you do in the app, right? So they're individualized to the user. So a website can't really do that. A website could try to do that. There's probably some ways that you could sort of finagle it, but it's not gonna function the same way an app does. And the way an app does is it, it, it changes, 
I'm going to repeat myself a bunch, but it changes depending on the individual, right? So depending on the data that you have put in, depending on the things that you have customized, depending on the listings that you, you check out, it seems to appear differently. The things that you look at appear differently. Right. Adalo is for visual, right? Adalo is for visual stuff. I'll just try to, yeah. So this is all very visual, right? I can see where people lead, where the flow happens, how people move throughout the app and how they view it and how they enjoy it, right? And that's the important part that seems like Adalo's focus, right? So cool, awesome. Um, Bubble, on the other hand, is a bit more advanced. And Bubble is a, is a pretty high, I was talking about some people on LinkedIn, it is a pretty big learning curve. It's a little weird. And so I'm probably going to start doing some, some tutorials in Bubble Academy to start learning like how it actually functions and, and everything like that. I was able to build like basic little things and, and experiment there. Uh, and I, they gave me a little template and I was futzing around with that. But it's very based on actions, right? And tying actions to interactions within the app, which is important if you really want any advanced functionality at all. So if I wanted somebody to click a button and then that button to send them to a new page and send them an email and send me an email and then when I get that email, tie it back to a CRM, like so now they're input into a lead gen form or something like that, right? Just some, some series of events that need to happen all at once. I could do that in Adalo, but I can't like conditionally flow events out in Adalo, it seems like. So if they click this and it works and they submitted this like piece of information, then it'll do this, right? So it's more conditional. It's a little bit more advanced. It's like the next level of uh, of, of kind of app building. I, I haven't dug into app, into Bubble really that much, but it worked really well, right? Um, it seems really nice. It just has a big learning curve. It's a little funky, but if you need to embed things, if you need to, to do a bunch of everything, I actually built a little entrepreneur app here or actually embedded my Twitch stream, and that was really, really cool. Um, it's just crazy. Five minutes, perfect. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it in five minutes. I'm going to go here. I'm using a template because I'm a cheater. Um, let's go to data. Uh, let's change. Uh, let's go to settings. Where is it? General. We're going to replace this. Edit. And now, no, 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 no. So it's not. So let's replace. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to go to nerd, right? I want this one. Select, because that has all my information on it. Um, remove features and replace. Glad cannot replace your Google Sheet. These columns are missing. Home episodes. Um, to replace the spreadsheet, restore these columns or remove the, remove the features from your app that use them. So let's just do that. Let's just see if we can reset it. Remove features and sync. Come on, you can do it. Okay, cool. So now we just have chat. So now let's go back to tabs. Let's reload the sheets. Is it having some issues? Because I wanted to grab this, right? Oops. Let's go back to Glide, log in. I accidentally did that. But maybe we needed to reset. Um, let's go back to here, podcast. Uh, this app is open another tab. Yes. So it's lagging a little bit. Um, maybe I gave it too much information all at once. Tabs. No, that's a new tab. Source. Uh, what was it? All past fits or website. Here we go. Check it out. I just added that. And then let's go and make that uh, video. Let's see if we can find a little video. Yeah, there we go. So let's add... Uh, Let's add maybe this. Yeah, because it's got a little person on the on the screen. It's got everything like that. Perfect. So that's new tab. I'm going to name that new tab uh, live streams. Boom. Live streams got a cute little thing. I'm going to move chat over. So I'm going to move chat underneath it. So chat is over on the other side. And then boom, literally that's it. So let's see if we can, let's see if all the information is actually here. Um, full replay, boom. Oh my God, it's actually all just right there. Let's see if we can change the sort though. Um, I wonder if we can change the sort. Oh, actually, I want to include the information too. So let's see if we can uh, show some more information. Um, tabs, no. Um, how about data? Data, highlights, the highlight doesn't start until later. 
The thumbnail is right here because I grabbed all the thumbnail information. I'm glad I grabbed the thumbnail information. Uh, yeah, because I did, right? I totally grabbed all the thumbnail stuff. Yeah, the thumbnail. That's hilarious. It actually just totally worked. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't prepare it for this, but uh, it ended up working really nicely. Okay, cool. So layout. Let's see if we can change. So we got the title. We got the summary. We got the thumbnail. Perfect. The caption should be episode number. Um, right? I think. Uh, a lot of text wrapping, no problem. Yeah, I think that's all we want. Summary. Um, no, we don't want the summary. Yeah, we just want the, the, the label, right? Boom. Very, very cool. This is awesome. Um, okay, cool. I think we literally just finished it. I think we literally just finished a basic app. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done. So how long was that? That was exactly four minutes. Check that shit out. And I futzed around a little bit. So let's go and share this. Publish app. And we're done. I'm going to add some, some custom information. Um, let's say this button, right? This button text um, will have the logged in user's username, right? So be cool, comma, username, right? And it can actually customize that to the individual, right? And so if the individual comes here, it's always going to be their username. And it could go to, instead of an external link, it could go to their, um, not their welcome page. We could create a new screen that is, let's see. I create a new screen that has uh, info. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So user shareable. User shareable. Kind of like a little link tree. I watched a tutorial on how to do this. Basically, you can build your own link tree. It's pretty cool. It doesn't have as convenient links as link as link tree does. But the functionality is all the same. So info. Great screen. Um, and then it's going to yeah. So user shareable push right. So now when you click on this, it goes to user shareable push. And then we're going to have all the information here. Um, oh come on. Oh, this is so difficult to navigate. It's so annoying. Um, I'm going to have, let's see, what can I change here? I'm going to make this, I'm going to make the user shareable, change visibility. Um, this, actually, this whole card group will only be visible, sometimes visible, if the logged in user's um, full name is not equal to empty. So in that case, if the, the login user's username is not equal to empty, even if you share the web page that is linked to this specifically, like this specific page, so we'll go to preview. Let's go preview. I want to show you how it works. Um, so we got to home. Entrepreneur, we have that logged in. I can click this, and it actually, I think it's supposed to favorite, and I need to change that. Um, be cool, Entrepreneur. Over to here. Shows me all this information. Great. This will only be view like this this little thing up here will only be viewable if I am logged in, right? Um, if I am not logged in, then it will not show anything, right? The app card here will not show anything. And I can also change this to do the same thing, right? So I can customize, depending on whether you are logged in or not, what you see, how you see it. You can sort information based on like what the individual wants. You can change it based on what they input, right? Um, I think it's super cool. It's all about inputting information and showing that information in different ways or using that information to show them different things. So it's super easy to use though, right? It's super, super crazy easy to use. And the nice thing about Adalo that I really like is it comes with the pre-built kind of app setup, right? So when you set up any page, when you set up any flow, when you set up anything, it always um, like looks nice. Um, and you can change the colors and you can change a few different things, but it always looks like an app. Right, so when I actually like put the app onto my phone or put the app on a web page, it looks like an actual fucking app. 